First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well and honest citations to the whole full light. So, just in case. The fear of the Lord was fading off of you, or, or you need a, a, a reminder to fear you how by Shema was shot. I want to do a lesson on this incident, man, that happened. As you can see, his name is John Edward Jones. Okay, I'm gonna, I want to speak on his story and and bring out some scriptures. Oh wow. So, uh, it says, uh, on, tw on November 24th, 2009, John Edward Jones tragically became trapped and lost his life in the Nutty Putty Cave after being stuck inside for 28 harrowing hours. Now, so lock it one second. All right. So I got the word harrowing here, which means acutely distressing. So it's not just... Another word for distress, distress is what? Being stressed out is, you know, you're stressed. So it's not just, and being stressed doesn't feel good, yo. When you're, when you're stressed out, it's a terrible feeling, yo. That means something is really going wrong in your life. And it really, and it really has you stressed. So you're not just regularly stressed. You're, you're acutely distressed. So acute meaning sharp. All right, a heightened state of stress. And you know what, man? You used to be able to have these similes. Like, this pisses me off, yo. You used to be able to have these similes that just, you know, they were just there. The whole word was there. Now you got little dots. What's the point of that? What's the point of that? Why would they do that, man? I'm telling you, man, everything that they do, like little things like this, is 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 against the men of the Lord. Cause this, you get a lot of edification from the similes. Now you want to put dots on every single one. You should be able to read them straight through, and I and I could save time. But as you can see, look. Oh, hor horrifying. Ooh, 28 horrifying hours. Tragic. Appalling. Haunting. Affecting. Touching the emotions. Painful. Disturbing. Shocking. Heartrending. Damn. Damn. Heartbreaking. Upsetting, traumatic, goodness, cause suffering, right? So we get the gist. <laughs> the opposite, the, the antonyms, you ain't calm. You don't get to be calm. You don't get to be comforted. You don't get to, you know, be have a heartening experience, right? So I wanted to get that. Let's go back into this guy's uh, story here. So haunting, 28 haunting, horrific, traumatic hours of just being stuck there. And yeah, this is it. This is pretty much the, uh, what, the diaphragm, for lack of better words. The uh, example, pretty much, of how his body was in that, in that stuck position. Woo, woo, woo. Hey. 28 hours, yo. Whew. 28 hours stuck like this. Goodness gracious, yo. Goodness gracious, man. Do you mean to tell me? 
that the scriptures say that it's better if you didn't know this truth and those that knew the truth and didn't do the heavenly father's will is going to be beaten with even more stripes meaning a, 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 a even worse judgment when when your day comes Just look at that, man. Hey, they said the perfect word, harrowing. Okay? So before I even read the story, you know, the point is made. The guy was stuck there for 28 hours in that position, man. So I'll get the scriptures and then get into his, get more into his stories. So let's get uh, Ecclesiasticus. Because guess who did this? The Lord. That's right. The Heavenly Father did this. This is Ecclesiasticus 11 and 14. He did that. He allowed this. He allowed this. Which means ultimately he did it. You got that example of a, of a King Ahab in the scriptures. And the Lord literally called the council. And he allowed all the angels to make suggestions on how they can get Ahab to get put, put to death ultimately. To how they can get him to have his have his have his day. And the Lord's like, no, nope, I don't like that one. No, nope, I don't like. And then he's one one demon stepped up and said, well, whatever angel could have been, I, I could be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophet. And that pleased the Lord. And the Lord said, go ahead and do it. So what? The Lord allowed it. <laughs> you know, it was that it was that angel's idea. But guess what? The Lord allowed it. So really, really, what the Lord did it. So you got the same thing here. No, oh, I, oh Lord, I want to do this to him, and the Lord said, "All right, go ahead." So now to finally get the scripture, Salakia, Ecclesiastes eleven and fourteen, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches, come of the Lord. It comes from the Lord. See, of and from is pretty much one of the same, even in a. Uh, even uh, in Spanish, day covers both. I believe. I'm pretty 90, 99% sure. Day covers of and it covers from. Alright? So, all these things come from the Lord. Which is why, even when you get uh, the book of Matthew... chapter 10 so didn't didn't he have his death there after 28 long painful hours <clears throat> that came from the lord wasn't that major adversity that adversity came from the lord the lord controls everything that's why this is matthew 10 and 29 are not two sparrows which is sparrows what small bird sold for a farthing and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father see so what? I mean, the Lord even knows when a bird, when a bird fall, uh, uh, um, pretty much dies. Okay? Without the Heavenly Father's permission. A bird says, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Okay, so not, and that's the hopeful leg. How much more is the Lord guiding over us and making sure that we don't um, get put to death unless the Lord allows it? See, so not even a bird can drop out the sky unless the Lord allows it. How much more one of His elect chosen men of the Lord being going through uh, 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 what Esau would have them see so we are going to be protected from the Lord man now you're going to have certain that's gonna, certain men that's going to be beheaded but at least they ain't going to bow down to the karagma and lose out on their crown and lose out on their salvation their eternal salvation in the Lord right but the point is that what the Lord has full control over life and death period So see that, and that was that was a very traumatic. That, that's a very fearful thing, man. Twenty-eight hours 
of just being stuck there, yo. 28 hours, man. Just being stuck. My goodness, man. You wonder why we go out there in the highways and byways, in season, out of season, consistently, week in and week out? You wonder why we do the lessons during the week, man? You wonder why we praying and fasting, trying our best to please you? How about you, man? I was shy. 28 hours, just stop. This is one of the worst... This is one of the worst deaths I've ever heard of, man. This has got to be one of the worst ones I've ever heard of. Another another terrible one was, uh, you know, brothers, look it up. A guy had, uh, well, just what he went through. He was, uh, a bear was snacking on him during hibernation. Just snacking on him. He was alive the whole time. This is why we must fear Yahweh Bashem was shy, man, and do his will. Oh, and uh, this is what I want to entitle this scripture. Yo, you two thirds? Oh my goodness. Yo, you two thirds having your fun? The same must know it after death by pain. You having your fun, you doing your booty shaking videos, you getting paid, getting money, you being harlots, you being ninjas, you, you, you delighting in things that the Lord uh, uh, hates. Committing adultery, willy nilly, for lack of better words, um, and you really don't think the Lord is going to to to, to destroy you gruesomely? My goodness, man! This is Jeremiah five and twenty two. Fear ye not me? Save the Lord. See, you don't fear the power that controls life and death. Prosperity and adversity, poverty and riches, whether you're safe or whether you're in a horrible case, you don't fear that power? You don't fear that power, man? Are you crazy? You're gonna, you fallout boys, man, who was in this truth and then you fell out the truth? You don't fear that power? You don't fear your how about Shema was shot? He had that guy stuck in that cave for 28 harrowing hours. Are you out of your mind? You not humble? You not sincere? You not looking to please the Lord and do his will? Are you out of your fucking mind? Well, I'm just happy that that that, that ain't me. And, and 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 likewise for the other sincere brethren doing the Lord's will. So it says, "Will you not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass?" So the reason why the, the sea just doesn't overtake the whole land is because your how about Shai set that order there. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail, though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. See? So reading a little bit on this guy's story. On November 24, 2009, a man named John Edward Jones became stuck and subsequently died in the cave after being trapped inside for 27 to 28 hours. Jones and three others had left their party in search of the birth canal, a tight but navigable passageway with a turnaround at the end. Jones entered an unmapped passageway which he wrongfully believed to be the canal and find himself at a dead end just like in the picture we seen with nowhere to go beside a narrow vertical fissure believing this to be the turnaround he entered headfirst and became wedged upside down see 
the workers set up a sophisticated rope and pulley system in an attempt to uh, extract extract him, extract the KM. But the system failed when put under strain, plunging Jones back into the hole. Jones ultimately suffered cardiac arrest due to the strain. Ooh, ooh, hey, goodness. So lucky, man. I got got a lot of energy this morning. I drank a best of the worst, a healthy energy energy drink. Definitely not a Monster or Red Bull or nothing like that. This is uh was non-GMO, organic, made from uh, damn, I forget, uh, pretty much leaves, certain leaves. So I got a ton of energy. I'm out to damn. I have to get a workout in, man. Damn, I uh, forgot my dang headphones. But anyway, anyway, man. So says, uh, Jones ultimately suffered cardiac arrest due to the strain placed upon his body over several hours by his inverted compressed position. Rescuers concluded that it would be too dangerous to attempt to retrieve his body. The landowner and Jones' family came to an agreement that the cave would be permanently closed with his body sealed inside as a memorial to Jones. Explosives were used to collapse the ceiling close to Jones' body, and the entrance hole was filled with concrete to prevent further access. Goodness gracious, man. I don't know what this guy did in his past life. But he surely paid the price in this one. He surely paid. He was probably one of the terrible, terrible slave owners. And he surely paid the price in his life. He sure did. The despair and power of Yahweh Basham out was shy. So this is this is hell of motivation. This is, this is a renewed fear <laughs> of Yahweh Basham out shy to do these works and do as best as I can, as best as we can, because you don't want to. We don't want to be in a case like this. All right. Hell, the Lord can have you stuck upside down like that and then have a a damn ants. Have ants come. Red ants come and just tear you up. Okay? So, I wanted to share a little story to uh, show forth the fear of the Lord. Lord, well, this was edifying with that. I'm going to say, Shalom.